At this time, I'd like to introduce Gatakan dancers to the stage. It's the primary goal of this dance group to teach the cultural traditions, traditions of the Tlingit. They not only teach song and dance, but also the cultural values to our youth, as they're quite aware that they will be the leaders one day. They realize strength comes from within, and therefore ask all dancers to remain drug, alcohol, and tobacco-free, and to stay in school. A good education is the key to success. These wonderful young people not only have learned many of our traditional songs, but also have written their own songs, thereby creating their own contributions to this culture and showing their love for their parents, relatives, grandparents, and for all of you. In many ways, they've only just begun. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in introducing the Gatakan dancers.
The first song that we're going to do was written and composed by our Huna City School students. Several of those students have since graduated, but we have three students on stage with us that graduate this year that were a part of composing and writing this song. We made a trip to Glacier Bay in 2015, and this is the song that was composed. We have three seniors that are dancing with us this year that were on that trip. Yachtutlacht, Mary Jack. Thuguish, <laughs> Tristan Lafferty. Nina Sanders. And we also have our fourth senior, Hudanik, Valerie Williams. We also have Jerry White the third. Jayak. We're very, very proud of our senior class. And this year, this performance will be their last performance for Gautacon in the Centennial Building for celebration. So if we could give them all a big round of applause. Thank goodness for my students always looking out for their auntie. We also have Monique Glover, Chak Shawet, class of 2018. <laughs> We're going to have Tlugu Ish introduce this song and share their words with you in both Tlingit and English so you understand the meaning of the words for the song that we're going to sing. So, oh. so verse one is Tuu Sigu Aya Hasdu in Yehati Duck Dintani Yetki Akana Hutu Adi, which translates to we are happy with when we are with our ancestors, children of the Duck Dintan, as we walk through the land. And verse two is Yesu Ahuk Aya Ha Shigun Ani Ade Satu Achji Ha Deshkaniani, which translates to "They are still there, our ancestors' land. We can hear our grandchildren's voices there."
going to change that last song. Belong to the Chukaneti clan. The next song that we're going to do is called Yaatuune. Yaatuune Dashiye. It's a song about respect. The words to this song, these are the words to the song that was created in freshwater at the Hatu Yeyeti culture camp last year. The words to the song were created by our students. Our students all the way from preschool to 12th grade. We asked them, what do you want your grandchildren to know? What do you want to leave to them? And they shared these words with us, that everything has a spirit and everything deserves respect. That our world is balanced. Everything on this earth is balanced that it was given to us, and in return, we give it back to them. It's the way that we exist. With help from Das Jini and Une, as well as all the others that came to camp with us, the song was created. Our students are working to create opportunities for their language to continue every day. And this is one of the opportunities they created, a song that they could share as they become grandparents with their grandchildren.
I just couldn't let the opportunity go by without introducing my little grandma that was out here dancing. This is my little grandma. Her name is Lily. She's named after my grandma, Lily White. The next song that we're going to do belongs to the Taktaintan people. The song we're going to do is Shawat Gua Khan. That's how we do things in Huna. I, I would like to take a moment to say our thank you. But before I thank those that helped us to get here, I would like to, sit, to extend my thank you to all of Huna's wonderful children up here on this stage.
They're incredible. Huna is very lucky. As it turns out, the people that helped us the most to get here are all women. And what I want to say about that is those Kardashians better keep up with us. We didn't even break a nail. <laughs> first, and foremo first and foremost, I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to Rosita and Carmelita. You ladies rock. Good. You take all of the problems and issues and you still make it possible for us to be here. So for that, thank you. I also want to extend my thanks to Jesse Dibdahl, Kim Campbell, Amy Stevenson, took all our problems and made them go away. My final thank you. Several years ago when we lost a lot of our strength, I was very worried. And I was wondering what would take, what would, what would help us? What is going to become of us? Our children love this culture so much. And I feel as if our Heavenly Father heard our prayer because Heather came. So I want to express my sincere thanks to Heather Powell. This lady is incredible, and uh, we're so very fortunate to have her in Huna. So our time is short. We have a minute. So we would like to uh, thank you for your kind support, and we will exit on the uh, Huna exit. Let me introduce the little boy before Harriet has a coronary. Uh, James Jack the Third. He danced before he could walk. If you think that our culture is dying, remember this moment. It isn't. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much.
Gata Khan, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for them. Who <laughs> knows?